Hey everybody, my name is John from Community Life Church and this is Meals Ready to Eat from the Bible. We would really appreciate a like and subscribe. Hello, today's message is Jesus Feeds 5,000 People Part 2. Not only did Jesus feed 5,000 people, but they had leftovers as well. So Jesus was pursuing these people. He knew what they would need. He was willing to meet those needs. And not only back then, not a story from 2,000 years ago, it's the same thing today for you and for me. So let's take a look at our scripture for today. This is in Mark chapter 6, verse 37 through 44. Let's pop that up on the screen. And we'll take, take a uh, read through it. But he answered them, you give them something to eat. And they said to him, shall we go and spend 200 denarii on bread and give them something to eat? And he said to them, how many loaves do you have? Go look. And then they found out, they said, you have five loaves and two fish. And he commanded them all to sit down by groups on the green grass. And they sat down in groups of hundreds and fifties. And he took the five loaves and the two fish and looking up toward heaven, he blessed the food and broke the loaves, and he kept giving to them to the disciples to set before them, and he divided up the two fish among them all. They all ate and were satisfied, and they picked up twelve full baskets of broken pieces and also of the fish, and there were five thousand men who ate the loaves. That's Mark 6.37-44. through 44. So let's take a look at this and break this down and see what God is saying to us today through this passage. Well, the first thing, of course, is that Jesus demonstrates that he is the answer, that he can meet our needs. Nothing we can do can surpass, surpass or even come close to what God can do, to what Jesus can do. <clears throat> when Jesus tells his disciples, you give them something to eat, he is demonstrating their lack, their inability. There was nothing they could do to help these people. And he reinforces this when he asks them just how much food they have. The answer is not much. They have very little food for all these people. 5,000 men. So then you have to add in the women and children. It was probably, I don't know, 10, 12,000 people, if not more. So they had very little with which to help these people. And it's the same for us. We don't have the means to do what Jesus wants us to do. However, in the will of God, this is not a flaw. It is, in fact, an advantage. Those of us who aren't able to do anything realize that we have no place to go but to Jesus, to, to, to cry out to him and ask him, give us the means to do what you want us to do. So then Jesus goes on to show everyone there just how powerful he is. Even after he calms the storm and heals the demon-possessed man in the graveyard, we still need a powerful lesson. Jesus takes the little bit that they had and turns it into an abundance. In verse 43, we see there were leftovers. They had a whole bunch of stuff left over, which is just amazing. He, they had nothing. They couldn't feed these people. And Jesus prays over it and turns it into an abundance, so much so that they have leftovers. They have extra. Jesus is not stingy with his gifts. He does not give us barely enough. He gives us according to his wisdom, not ours or the world's, and that is always more than enough. We see this in the words of verse 42, all the people had their hunger satisfied and they had enough to eat. Jesus is not just doing this for people back then. It's not a story of a long time ago, but he's doing the same thing for you and for me, for all of us today. He will satisfy us. He will give us what we need. He is the answer to all the questions and the filler of all needs. So we cannot worry, <clears throat> excuse me, we cannot worry if you don't have enough. We cannot stay home and do nothing because we think we are not gifted or not called. We are, as it says in Romans 1, chapter 6, the called of Jesus Christ. He does the calling. No one can call us. He does the gifting. No one can give us the gifts he does. So he places us where he wants. He puts us in the boat and sends us through the storm and provides just what we need. And we can stand firm knowing just that. Thanks for watching. You can join us Sunday morning, 1030 at 20 West Main Street, Catskill, New York. Can't make it? You can stream our services live on YouTube or Facebook, which you can find on our web at clchurch.cc. That's clchurch.cc. Don't forget to follow us throughout the week for devotions and times of sharing from leaders and staff. Leave a comment, leave a like, whatever you want. And thanks once again.